Good evening and salutations, my GH fans. Let's talk about Trina and Spencer for a minute. I'm glad that they talked it out. I'm glad they talked it out. I'm glad she paused before she actually decided to flip out on him. Because here's the thing. She's been feeling that way for a while. She's been feeling that way for a while. Like, they spent way too much time together. They're getting way too close. And when Spencer was like, oh, no, listen, we got enough food for everyone. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa bro. Whoa. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. That was, that was, uh, <laughs> that was, that was definitely the wrong move to make. Um, yeah. And the thing is, I didn't even have to look at her. It, here's the thing. There's something about a woman where you don't have to look at them. You can just feel the energy. You can fit, it, it's, it's almost like this chill that just comes over you when you effed up that bad. That's what that scene was. That just, that's exactly what that scene was. Um, and I'm glad she said something because it's one of those things where it's like, if you don't say anything and you just let it happen over and over and over and over again, um, there's a huge blow up and things could have been solved a lot more calmly if he just would have sat there and talked about it. So they talked about it. He gave us some jewelry and everything was just magically all back. You want to sit there and get out of an argument? Give us some jewelry. Um... It was an interesting scene between Carly and Esme because we all know how much Carly cannot stand Esme. But, you know, there's a toddler there. She's not going to sit there and just start flipping out on her and everything. Um, I think most likely she's going to let her rent the room upstairs. This way they can kind of just... You know, here's the thing. Spencer keeps... I don't want to sit there and say using the excuse because I'm not simply saying that it's, it's not plausible, but like... He keeps using the whole, well, I know that the dark Esme is in there somewhere. Okay, well, you, do you plan on, like, watching her 24-7 for the rest of her life and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like after a while, I don't know. I, just, I, don't, feel, I don't feel like that, that excuse is just going to keep holding up in the long term. That's the problem. Um, in the beginning, I understood, but now we're getting to a point where it's like, all right, maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit of a break. Her living somewhere else, you living somewhere else, y'all trying to make it work out, um, is probably the best thing that can wind up happening. Now I was wondering why Jake decided not to go with, um, Violet and Finn and Liz in the beginning. Now we know why. I got a question now. Are they related? Like, I mean, seriously, like, are, are they actually rela related? Charlotte and Jake? I'm very curious about that. I don't think that they are, but... You know, let me know in the comment section. Charges got dropped. Dex don't have to sit there and feel guilty anymore. He doesn't have to sit there and worry that he almost sent his boss to prison. That he just had a major F up... And hopefully, he'll learn his lesson and never do anything remotely as stupid again. Um, the minute that I saw that judge, I was like, oh, damn, he looks mean. I mean, granted, I've never actually seen a friendly judge, but like the minute he sat down, I was like, Jesus Christ. But, you know, the U.S. attorney would have was like, yeah, we don't, we don't exactly have the evidence to really put him in jail. I mean, we, we, we kind of we lacking over here. And Sunday was like, yeah, uh, they found coffee. Yep. So we can go home, and that could just be that. Now, Sunday did ask Dex, like, you know, what happened? You know, why was she at the warehouse? And he was like, yeah, well, you know, I had to think it out of there, which is perfectly understandable. I knew there was somebody in the comment section who was like, oh, he should have stayed or whatever. And I was like, why is he going to stay, sit there, and get, like, called by the cops? What, what, what is that going to do? Everyone's going to just wind up walking anyway. Um, 
Diane literally did not have to do anything. All she had to do was wake up in the morning, sit down, and then go home. That was it. I, I think that was probably her easiest case that she ever had to sit there and do and got paid a boatload of money to just sit there for less than an hour. Awesome. Nina was worried. Dante was there. Michael was there. Um, Carly decided not to be there because she didn't want to be involved. She's not in that life anymore. Which is like, hey, you're not in that life anymore, but you, you, you do realize that y'all still do have kids, right? Like, I get, I, you know, on, on this level, I do understand that she didn't want to sit there and be there, which is fine. Um, I don't know. She picks, she picks her battles with Sonny. You know, she had no problem accepting the fact that she was going to be able to see Drew because it benefited her. But going home early from jail, ah, I'd rather just sit there and inconvenience my daughter and tell her to never turn off her phone ever again. Okay. Kick is 19. I'm pretty sure that's not going to wind up happening. But uh, Maxie was kind of worried. Because now she got that house, and um, she may not have a job anymore. And I said this in my life, you know, I was like, well, you know, you can always go back to Crimson. <laughs> you, you can always go back to Crimson. Um, Alicia was like, no, don't worry, we'll sit there and help you out and stuff like that. I was like, I mean, y'all could, but I mean, Nina's rich, so like. I was like, I sat there, I was like, I get that they want to provide for their own daughter, but I'm like, Nina's rich. Like, come on. Um, and then he started talking about, you know, Jackson and um, Felicia almost going to jail to her being a patient advocate. And I, I was to tell you the truth at that point, I kind of didn't care. Um, Georgie's worried about Maxine. See, so that's the thing. Kids can sit there and pick up on some of the stuff that goes on with adults as far as them worrying, their fears. They know that something's off, even when they sit there and try to be super positive. Um, I think James definitely needs therapy. I felt bad for him. I mean, you know, it was nice what he said about um, Mac and everything, but he, he, he can definitely benefit from therapy. I, I, you know, he can definitely benefit from therapy. Curtis is back at work, and you can see that he is trying to put up a brave face, but he's definitely struggling. Like, there's a point where he's sitting there talking to, I guess, some guests or whatever that came in, and it, I knew it. I knew it hit him when he was sitting there talking to the guests. We had to sit there and look up at them because towards you know towards the end he was like you know he's still just trying to find his place or whatever. Um. Another person that sit there and that can ther um, benefit from therapy, especially in this case. Molly and TJ gave their stupid news that I'm pretty sure like only a fraction of the fan base actually cares about. And um, like there's more to that. Also, <clears throat> I mean, kind of what I found funny was when Michael was sitting there talking to Dex, and, you know, Michael was being kind of dismissive. You can tell that Dex was feeling really bad about what he did, and he was like, you know, there's no way they could have put off the information. And, you know, he was very dismissive. He just kind of walked in there, and I'm like, bro, you know, you are the one that did gather the information, right? Like, while you're sitting there chastising him and kind of being like, whatever it is about him, I'm like, bro, you're the one that put him in that position in the first place. So... Saying, you know, let's, let's not sit there and be so hard on Dex when you're the one that actually got the information in the first place. Anyway, I feel like that's it for the most part. I can't really think of anything else. Um, but as I always sit there and say, if I forgot anything, you know what to do. Come to the live stream tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll sit there and talk about all the shows. YNR, Days, GH, and BNB. &B. And if you are not a member, definitely join. It's a lot of fun. Um, we talk about that. We talk about some other stuff that 
I also didn't say, you know, we'll, we'll definitely like keeping the member, the member circle only. But um, if you're not a member, definitely hit the join button in the bottom. It's a lot of fun. Ask anyone that has a um, highlight in their name or a Dragon Ball All Star, whatever. Uh, and with that being said, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.